Hello, YouTubers. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thanks to Kuanta for making this video on how to synchronize or to make the Akai MPK Mini work with Reason, assigning the drum pads to Kong. So I suggest you watch this video first. I'm going to post a link in the description box. Okay. So now let's get to the nitty gritty here. So what I discovered was that the most effective way of making this device work with Reason was to not use the template that comes with Reason for the MPK Mini. In Quanta's video, you can see that he sets up two different devices. He assigns the MPK Mini as a MIDI controller and also as a control surface. Well, that comes with its own problems. So I discovered that the best way to do this is to just do a whole blank MIDI control surface. And it has to be a multi-channel one. So what we do is we go to, if we're in Reason, we go to the Recent Preferences. Okay, and what we do is that we create a new one. So we go to Add and Manufacture. We put Other. And right here, you go to MIDI Multi-Channel Control Keyboard. And right here, we'll name it Akai MPK Mini 2 or whatever you want to name it. Okay. As far as input goes, we assign it to MPK Mini 2. Um, you can also use Find, but that's not necessary. All right, so now that we have it here, it um, it should be working. So let's see, let's open a conk here. Because the problem was with the uh, pitch and modulation wheels. So now you see I'm moving the pitch and modulation wheels for this one. And as you can see, it's a sign. And also, Let's open another instrument here. Uh, I don't know, let's say Tor. And as we can see, if we are assigned to this instrument, I could also move the pitch and modulation wheels. And if we go back to this instrument, the only thing is that we gotta click it down here. We'll see that it goes back. So, see? So that was just a quick video. Okay, another thing is to sync how to sync the clock. To sync the clock, all we do is we gotta open the editor, which is, uh, sorry, let's open the editor down here, right? Uh, and we have to make sure that the clock is set to external. So let me get the program here from here. And let's see. As you can see, I already set it to external. Make sure you do that and then you send it to whichever program you're assigned to. And as, that's as far as the Akai goes. When it comes to Reason itself, what you want to do is make sure that you're sending MIDI clock information, but also you have to go to the preferences, go to sync, and make sure that down here, it will, it will look like this. Make sure you set it to the MPK. All right. And then also make sure that it's sending MIDI clock data. And now you'll be able to use the arpeggiator uh, sync to the clock of reason. Okay. Thanks for watching.